Uh, right. Good morning, comrades. As you may remember, we have purchased this amazing 718 GTS, and it didn't take long until we have arrived at Mantai Racing. So it's gonna get a full MR package. It's gonna go sub six on the uh, bridge to Adenau, and uh, yeah, I wish it was true. No, reality is the car has some flaw. It has a defect. It has something that makes the car undrivable. Again, I'm very much over exaggerating. I'm sorry, I'm just in that type of mood today. No, the USB connector is not charging. So, and we think, yeah, when we have customers coming from far away, they want to charge their phone, the USB connector needs to be working. I can hear some GT4 Club Sport cars on the background probably driving there. Yeah, it just arrived there, so you can see them here already parked up as well. But anyhow, the story of today that I want to share with you is actually that apart from Manti Racing being a factory racing team, Manti Racing or Raider Motorsports or this whole building is also official Porsche center. So you could come here with any of your issues, any of your troubles, any of your defects and say like, hey, something's wrong with my car. Could you please take a look and it will fall within the warranty. So let's have a look inside, drop off the keys. So this uh, issue will be fixed. Um, and yeah, check out about some cars along the way. Did I lock it? I did lock it. It's almost end of the day, by the way, and it's also very windy. So let's get quickly inside. Tum, 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 tum. Hello, hello, hello. Good to see you again. This time for something else. Yeah. Hi. So we already spoke on the phone, so he already knows what's up. But uh, my question is, in case people come here with a defect, yes. uh, do they need to make an appointment in advance, or uh, what's the, what's a uh, casual procedure? The best is uh, if, if the people do an appointment, mm -hmm. but um, sometimes the cars have problems, um, you don't know what happens, and um, you can come without an appointment. Mm -hmm. We check the cars, uh, we are also a Porsche dealer mm -hmm. since um, August last year. Mm -hmm. And so we all um, we do all the, the warranty works on the Porsche cars and yes. The contact details will be in the video description. So if you're a Porsche driver enthusiast, you come to the Nürburgring and just in case, if there is going to be something, it's better to know it. Uh, you're actually open, I believe, seven days a week or you have emergency service on the Sunday or not? Yes, right. Uh, normally we're here from Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. And if uh, the track is open for tourists, mm -hmm. uh, we have also on the weekend. Yeah, we're, good. We're here from from nine till till six p.m. Mm -hmm. Nine a.m. till six p.m. And yes, for all the guys that are driving on a trip. Perfect. And it doesn't matter if the car is registered like in Finland or Sweden. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So perfect. Cool. Can I maybe have a quick glimpse because I see something on over there apart from all the trophies that you won. <laughs> Come in. Yeah, so this is a quick glimpse of the workshop. Oh, 993. So again, the next question is, you also do older car, cars. We, so this. Yes, yes. Uh, this is a 993 Turbo, mm -hmm. and we, we do all the Porsche cars. Uh, nine, um, yes. 930, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everything. Everything. All the air -cooled cars. So not only the latest GT3 or GT2 RS, you can come here with even 924, maybe? All the cars. Okay, awesome. And also, obviously, also like a bigger maintenance. So I see the engine and gearbox are out. So not only for change of brake pads, anything is good. Awesome. Well, cool. I guess that's all you have to know. If uh, I'm, I know that there are a lot of Porsche drivers on my channel watching. So if you, in case you didn't know, that's the thing. Make sure to know. And uh, to be honest, I hope you will not need it. But in case you need it, it's good to know that there is someone else here, uh, someone here in the neighborhood that can help you out. And also to make your car faster, actually, as well. Yes. <laughs> but that's Monte Racing, that's it's not the Monte Porsche. Racing. So it's the opposite yeah. side of the workshop. And yes. Okay, well, thank you very much. And, Thanks uh, a lot. I'll see you, we'll see you soon. Yeah, see you soon. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Bye. bye bye. And let's go, go back to Apex, I guess. Yes. So you can put this in your video. Yes, awesome. Look at And Bruno, are you my first subscriber? I am your first subscriber for your Rus Russian channel, which so, I have no idea what it says here, it says, I like it. It says Nürburger. Oh, Nürburger, okay. okay. So, I hope seeks I prep. Okay. Where's it? Oh, this, this looks Russian. Yeah. Oh, unreleased. Oh, unlisted. Unlisted for four views already. You're probably my fifth and the second. Smash that notification bell. Oh, just smash the bell. Oh <laughs> my oh. god. Oh. Ten subscribers and we'll make another video. <laughs>
Oh wow, that that looks strange, completely upside down. Um, yeah, since I've been shooting lots of videos recently, um, so I don't know if it has been released or not has been released. Long story short, meet the new Audi TTS in the upside down steering wheel. No, because we, that means Bruno and I, are yeah. going to do uh, some photo session already for it. Uh, we have received a new camera for Apex, Apex Media, 5D Mark IV. Yeah. Um, can you tell us a bit more about it, Bruno? Because you're so. The... Basically, me and Tom have been using ever since we started this Apex Media uh, thing. We've been using the good old 5D Mark III, which was basically like the top-notch camera, like the workhorse from Canon. And uh, it was time to actually like make an upgrade. And Robert was really cool with us. Uh, he provided us with the camera, really cool, 30.3 megapixel. It's used 4K. It has dual pixel out of focus. It's like best of the best for what we need. Um, and it has a nice value as well. So we're going to work a lot on that, on this actually. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, as you mentioned, it also shoots 4K. Um, yeah. So we we can have. Th oh, wow. oh, that's no, no, no. We cannot have that. Shh. I really need to switch off that that thing. Whoever turned it on. Yeah, we can have uh, videos from uh, two angles because we use the A7S2, yeah. uh, and then we can have the 5D for the second angle for like uh, the summit or something. Yeah, it's going to be very special actually because. Um, either for you and for Apex and for everything because Tom was basically a one-man stand you know just shooting by himself the videos the plan is that uh, in the future we get another gimbal and then both me and Tom can actually look, do like a little bit more professional work with two angles and whatnot so it's gonna be cool yeah maybe we can get the, the Ronin S or something for that's it. my plan yeah. yeah that's our plan actually so it's gonna be cool yeah Definitely. that would be cool awesome okay so uh, yeah let's get out let's, Make try, some, with it. let's try what uh, how it's gonna look like And of course, what's a photo session without a castle shot? And we have just discovered a new location. This is just unreal. Doesn't this make you tired? Okay, that's my first and last bad joke of the day. Okay, in the meanwhile, we're joined by Tom Stamp. And what you're about to see is just absolute fire background. Look at that. It's unreal, and all the pictures is gonna look like even better. Okay, this is just straight out of the, just straight out of the camera. Like, there's no editing on that. At yeah. All. Wow. Look at the haze and the 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 town in the background. You Holy get like so many layers in the distance. Like literally 30 seconds ago, all that that uh, yeah. village was just glistening. Yeah. The thing is, that, like when the time gets like this, the light just changes so so quickly. Yeah. You just gotta act very quickly. And after a photo shoot, it's now time to make ourselves pretty yeah. with Tom. That's what you gotta do, it's a full-time job. That's what we do. Some content there. That's it. <laughs> it's only carnival, we're not going for Oscars. <laughs> Who am I to say anything about this? <laughs> Alright, final result. Wow! I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> That's unreal. Wow. <laughs> do I look that shocked? <laughs> oh, it's not good. Right, uh, fast forward. <laughs> Look at us all being fancy, completely ready for Geneva Motor Show. Yes, and tomorrow, I'm, by the way, leaving to Sweden to do some ice driving with Volkswagen, drifting with the Golf R. And I'll be definitely be able to look sharp out of the window while I'm going sideways on the ice, like, you know, because I have a massive eyebrows. So, yeah, <laughs> that's the life of a YouTuber, you know, because I browse. Yeah, but I'm internet. not a YouTuber. Well, actually, well you I are, am. because... I'm tough that's today, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, long story short, um, I'm sorry for all the Porsche enthusiasts who were, who tuned in for the Porsche Cayman video and Audi enthusiasts who saw a bit of uh, of the photo sessions. Yeah, we can also include this into Tinder package. No, yeah. we actually have we have had like what three people probably yeah. who came and asked the media team like, I know you make photo sessions, but can you do something like you know for the Tinder profile me standing next to the I mean, car? For, for people that don't know. Back in the UK, I used to have my own studio and I just did like portrait photography. So modeling portfolios and all kinds of like commercial, but, but mainly working with people. So I'm more comfortable shooting people than I am cars. <laughs> I've only been photographing cars for a year, but people I've been doing since I've been 14, 15, so. Okay. 
Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So in case you want to do something, all I want to say, like, we should maybe like include. Uh, yeah, Abdullah. Can, time. Can yeah. Do bits. Yeah. Get your eyebrows looking, <laughs> looking. Uh, sharp. And then your Tinder profile gonna go through the roof. That's it. No, what I want to say is that I always had the struggle because I had to go to Holland because it was very difficult to find the barber. Actually, I went to Barber Time already like a couple of weeks ago, and I was like. Holy shit, what you get for your money? Because all of this, all the massage and uh, like the the gels and the beard and eyebrows full and haircut and washing for 30 euros. Yeah, it's unreal. Like how much did you pay in UK for just a haircut? I, I paid, last time I went to England, I paid 38 for, for a cut, that was it. Pounds. Pounds, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. like 165,000 euro. <laughs> Pre-Brexit. <laughs> Pre-Brexit. Pre-Brexit. <laughs> yeah, no, amazing. If you're in Bonn or in environment or you're coming for a long-term stay at the Nürburgring, just 30 minutes drive from the Nürburgring and uh, amazing, amazing. I have a new barber because, yeah, I'm already here. I think Tom as well. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's cool. It you is. don't have to go to Hans anymore. In, uh, I don't know. Hans. <laughs> so, sorry, Hans, but <laughs> man like Abdullah is uh, he's doing bits. He's also, by the way, not Tom, but our no. dear barber. He's also one of my favorite barmen at Lindner. So you can either get a good drink at Lindner or get a haircut here. And uh, yeah, two, two out of three people in the world that you need to keep close to you. Barber, because he can cut you, and your barman, because yep. he can poison you. And, and and the third one is probably your doctor. Uh, okay, yep. enough talking. See you guys tomorrow and some ice driving. <laughs> Bye. And subscribe to Tom. He has a new channel. Subscribe. Like. Hit that notification bell. And a thousand likes is gonna, I don't know. What, gonna wait, shave all my eyebrows off and draw them on with Biro. <laughs> you heard it here a first. thousand likes. <laughs> on my video, not Misha's video. Yeah. We do that straight away. <laughs>